Hello and welcome to another Castle Dino tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to key out footage in After Effects. Now of course, of course you'll need to open Adobe After Effects. So I'm using the CS3 version, so we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, Adobe After Effects is open now, so what you need to do, you need to import your green screen footage and your green screen background. So file import Im and then import multiple files they need to choose your green screen footage just find that okay so once we've done that you need to import your green screen background And today I'm going to use the weird background. Okay, once you've finished it all, you just press done. And as you can see, they're in the project media file. So first you need to drag down into the timeline the green screen footage. Today I'm using uh, one of my close friends at Budget Screens, uh, cousin. And okay, he's in the timeline. Now you drag your green screen background underneath it. Okay, now what you need to do, you need to download a special plugin called Keylight. Um, to do this, you need to go on the foundry.co.uk. So once I've typed that in, uh, yep, just wait for it to load up. Tell you the next step. Okay, once that's loaded up, uh, what you need to do, you need to download the plugin as I say, so it's under downloads. And then it's under key light, it's under After Effects plugins. It's a long day. Okay, so click key light. And then you need to click uh, standard win file, that's the one I usually use, but you can use whichever one applies to you, whether you're a Mac user or not. So I use the generally the middle one. You just sign up and they don't give you they don't spam you or any crap like that. Um, so yeah, sign up for them and they'll send you the link, download it and then open Adobe After Effects back up, which is exactly what we're gonna do now. Now, once we've downloaded that plugin, I need to do, I need to go on, click on the Jordan file and click Effects and Keying and Key Light. Or you can also do this on the Effects and Presets box, type in Key Light and you can just drag it down onto the composition window. Once you've released your left click on the mouse, you need to open the project, the effect settings at the side. Um, the, you'll see there's an eyedropper there. You'll need to click on that. And then find what looks the darkest part of your green screen footage and click there. And as you can see, the background has been applied almost perfectly. Now, uh, you can change the background quite easily. Uh, what you need to do, you just need to remove the background file and replace it with another. So as you can see that works, we'll try a different one. So we'll delete the weird.avi file. And then we'll import file. And then we'll import, let's say, lightning. Then you drag that underneath, same applies. There's the other green screen background, and as you can see, it might look from a distance, but that's not quite right. It's got, it's, you see, it's a bad piece of green screen footage. So what we need to do, we need to modify that a bit. Um, so we go down to the screen color, 
and we click on the actual color and we mess around dragging the color everywhere until it gets just right okay that's a bit better okay so I think that works now and there's no real lines as I say it's a bad piece of green screen footage so not all of it will have keyed out but you see you've got to do which background applies best that's why at budget screens they give you a, a real choice of background so all you need to do now is file export the file and you're done so that's the after effects tutorial done be sure to check out budgetscreens.co.uk for more information uh, and it's a, it's a great website uh, what you need to do you need to go onto the shop to download these backgrounds and uh, so we just go along to shop and uh, uh, that is just there underneath the blue screens and blue screens you can pay by PayPal which is a secure form of method I found so that's it really so thanks for watching my tutorial be sure to check out some more I've got one coming on the way and it's how to key out in Sony Vegas goodbye